Here we're given a rational equation, 3 equals 1 plus 3x divided by x minus 1, and we're asked to solve algebraically. So we're going to use the steps from the lesson. I'm going to modify them just a little bit. So the first step is to identify the common denominator for all fractions in the equation. Well, we only have one fraction, and that is this piece right here, and the common denominator, so I'm going to put common denominator, is x minus 1. Take note of the values of x that make the common denominator 0. So I'm going to set x minus 1 equals 0. If I solve that, that gives me x equals 1. Therefore, I cannot use 1 as a solution because it would make the denominator 0. We cannot divide by 0. So this part is a little bit of what's called an aside. We're just doing some pre-work. Then we want to clear the fractions by multiplying both sides of the equation by the common denominator. But before we do that, what I'm going to notice here is that I have a 3 and a 1. These are both numbers that I can combine. If I subtract 1 from both sides, so I'm going to move my equation down here, I get 2 equals 3x over x minus 1. And this is going to simplify our next step quite a bit. So I'm now going to multiply both sides of the equation by the common denominator. That common denominator is x minus 1. So that gives me 2 times x minus 1 equals 3x over x minus 1 times x minus 1. And sometimes it helps to put these in parentheses like that. Now what I see is on the right-hand side, my denominator cancels with this piece that I'm multiplying here. So what I'm left with is 2 times the quantity x minus 1 equals 3x. Now I just have to clear the parentheses and combine like terms if possible and solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides here, and if I do that, this goes to 0, I get negative 2 equals x. I'm going to write that from left to right, x equals negative 2. And negative 2 is in the domain of my rational part of my equation, so I'm going to declare that that is my solution. Now, let's go ahead and check this algebraically, or excuse me, graphically, by going to our y equals on the calculator, and I'm going to enter 3, that's my y1, then I'm going to enter 1 plus 3x divided by, now be very careful here, I'm going to put parentheses, x minus 1, so I'm entering y1 is the left side of the equation, y2 is the right side of the equation, I'm going to take a look at my window and see if I have any strange values. Yes, I do. So I'm going to go to Zoom 6, which is the standard window, and I'm going to see what I get here. So here is the y equals 3 part, and this two pieces is the right-hand side, 1 plus 3x over x minus 1. I want to find the intersection of the two equations, which is going to be this point right here. So I'm going to go second calc number 5. Now I need to pay attention to where my cursor is. My cursor is on the side of the graph where the intersection is, so I can just hit enter three times, and that verifies that my solution is x equals negative 2. If my cursor had been on this side, the intersection process will not cross over this vertical asymptote right here. So I would have had to press the arrow key until the cursor moved over to this part of the graph. So that may happen in other problems, so just be aware of that. But we have confirmed, indeed, that our solution is x equals negative 2.